Now I'm going to share with you the first 10 exercises. I will do each one twice and I will share the instructions. So please follow them. The first exercise, you double breathe in through the nose and stretch your body like this and then exhale through the mouth and contract your body and exhale. So, this is the first exercise which is done with the double breath. Now the second exercise, hands on the waist and your left leg, you will tense the lower leg a little bit and move it front and back. Then right side, front and back. I'm doing it only two times, but you are supposed to do it three to five times. Very simple, that was all in the second exercise. Third exercise, Take your uh, foot and move it clockwise three to five times and anti-clockwise three to five times. Again, you take the right foot clockwise three to five times and anti-clockwise three to five times. What you have to ensure in every exercise is that you do it mindfully. Now, we will do the fourth exercise. The fourth exercise you tense your lower leg and lower hand. Like if you move them a little bit, you just tense them like this, hold and relax. And then high and upper arm. Tense, hold and relax. So you will have to move your leg a little bit here and there to ensure that you can feel the tension. So lower leg and lower arm, tense, hold, relax. Upper thigh, and upper arm, tense, hold, and relax. First we do with the left side, then we do with the right side. Lower leg and lower arm, upper leg and upper arm. So this is your fourth exercise. Fifth exercise, we tense our buttock and the back. Our, this area, and this area. So again, we move the body slightly so that we can feel the tension here and here. So you get used to it as you move. So the eyes will be closed when you do it. Of course, now that you are learning. And you just move it a little bit so that you can feel the tension. Tense, hold, relax. Similarly, again, we do with the right side. Tense, hold, relax. Tense, hold, relax. You do this three to five times. This was your fifth exercise. Sixth exercise is called back recharging. So in this, we do the lower back, the middle back, and the upper back. So we start tensing like this. Just So the lower back, middle back, and the upper back. You start tensing so that you can feel the tension in the back. You should be able to tense the back. And then again, relax. First relax the upper back, then the middle back, and then the lower. That was your sixth exercise. Seventh exercise, very simple. All of us know how to do it, and that is called shoulder rotation. So you put your uh, palms like this on the shoulders and very slowly, gently, mindfully, we rotate the shoulders, both the sides, clockwise and So these were the seven exercises. Now, exercise eight, nine, and 10 are the neck exercises. So eighth exercise is we tense the neck first from the left side like this so that I just you feel the tension here in the left side of the neck. Then right side of the neck. 
then front leg and then back leg. So mentally you will have to tense the muscles on each side. So we will do it again. Left side, right side, front and back. That is the eighth exercise. Ninth exercise, you move your neck down and touch, let the chin touch the chest and then tense the neck, tense it and slowly take it back. Back, back, back. And then release, relax and drop the neck. So tense, you take it up. Relax, you bring it down. This is the ninth exercise. And the tenth exercise is very simple. Again, we all know, which is the neck rotation. The only difference is when we do the neck rotation here, we tense our neck. So you tense all the neck muscles and then you move your neck around, both clockwise and anti. So like this. This. So if you are doing it five times, then four times you are going to do it with a tensed neck. The muscles of the neck will be tensed when you do this rotation. And the fifth round, in the last round, you will relax, relax the muscles and then just do it, do it very gently. Thank you.